three candidates for governor didn't seem to be doing much today to drive up voter interest. All three staying largely out of sight. KCRA 3's David Beanick is live for us right now in Hollywood with the last minute low profile campaigning. David. Yeah, good evening from Hollywood. We're here on Hollywood Boulevard. We had a hard time today finding any voters who even knew the names of the top three candidates in this race, and that's with the tourists aside. And that may be a problem with this new top two primary system for the candidate who finds himself in third place. Last week, far from the campaign trail, Republican Assembly Member Tim Donnelly was at the state capitol today to talk about a specific issue. But the government itself is doing a deplorable job of granting access to disabled people. Only after reporters started asking did Donnelly talk about his campaign for governor. And I think that it's the people, not the political parties, who are the answer to what ails California. Meanwhile, Donnelly's Republican opponent, Neil Kashkari, was out of sight altogether, instead appearing on several radio shows across the state, talking about jobs, but also poverty. Jobs leaving equals poverty in California. Sacramento is really good at one thing, that's creating poverty, and I'm going to make them answer for their failure of California. Kirsten Olson of the University of Southern California's Political Studies Program says Kashkari's efforts to portray himself as a moderate may be working. The latest USC LA Times poll shows Kashkari now ahead of Donnelly by five points. The governor has very high approval ratings there, and so he wants to sort of get in on that you know, make his way into the approval ratings and to see that, you know, not all Republicans are cut from the same cloth. On the streets of Hollywood today, voters said that they know in the final days of a campaign to be leery of political messages. It's hard to decipher because they, they word everything so tricky. And so you're trying to figure out, okay, does this really mean this? Does this really mean job? Or does this really mean that? Now, despite the low interest in this election so far, the pollsters at USC say there is reason for optimism that this may not be a record low voter turnout. They say the uh, top two primary is driving some interest, as well as the possibility to, for voters to vote by mail. Live in Hollywood, David Bean and KCRA 3 News. All right.